All right, today I wanted to do a, a real quick video on playing Origin games with the Steam controller. Um, so essentially, the Steam controller doesn't work properly with Origin games. If you try to run an Origin, if you try to run Origin through Steam and do it that way, uh, that has not worked from what I tested with uh, Most Wanted, which was free for a little while. So I wanted to play this, couldn't use it with my Steam controller that way, so I figured out another way to do it. Essentially what you do is you create a dummy shortcut in Steam to something like Notepad that doesn't impact your performance. You set your key configs to how you want them, and then whenever you want to play the game, you open up the shortcut so that your controller works correctly, and then you just open up the game in Origin. So to give you a little bit of in-depth uh, to show you how that's done. You just do like add a game, non-Steam game, find something like Notepad or Notepad++, Double Plus, something that's not going to impact your performance. Um, but it has to stay open so that it doesn't close, obviously. So you can see I've done that. And then you can set a Steam Grid icon so that it looks nice in big picture mode and in the grid view. And then you can figure out how to do that by Googling it. It's not hard. You just save an image and then set it. I don't know where it says that create or yeah well it should say said custom image there so the what the keyboard or what the key configs look like if i open it in my library here if i go down to manage and controller config so see i have the default keys set up here except for this because the numpad doesn't work so i had to set it to some random keys and then change it in game but yeah this is the correct color controller config so whenever i want to play this game i just open it it opens notepad all of my controls with the Steam controller start to work for the game, and then I just open the game through Steam. Um, and I'm not going to do that because I have no idea if I'll actually be able to record it or not. But yeah, and then whenever you're done, close out of the game, close out of Notepad, um, and you're good. So what that does for you, for this game specifically, I don't know if it work, would work for all games, but it... Um, it uh, showed me Steam Overlay, Steam Overlay worked correctly, and the Steam FPS counter, and of course, all of your friends can see that you're playing non-Steam game, whatever it is that you're playing. So, yeah, that's how that works. If this helped you out um, playing uh, non-Steam games, I guess, with the Steam controller, then please leave a like so that other people can see it. Thanks.